An Amherst woman tells News 4 her granddaughter is among the victims of the fire. A phone call from one of her family members in California confirmed her biggest nightmare. News 4's Marissa Perlman has more on how this family plans to keep her memory alive. Marissa? Well, Jackie Don, Chelsea Faith Dolan was just 33 and at the start of what her family calls a budding career in electronic music when she died on the second floor of the ghost ship. For her 90-year-old grandmother, Marion Dolan, she tells us she and other families of victims now have questions about how this could happen. It just fell apart. Marion Dolan hasn't slept since she first found out her eldest granddaughter, Chelsea Faith, was performing inside the ghost ship warehouse when this massive fire broke out. Watching all those pictures, those flames were unbelievable. Chirushi is the name Dolan performed under. She was recently featured as one of the unsung women of electronic music. All the musicians were up on the second floor loft and the dancers were all down below. It was a, a big dance party. She died playing music, so at least she was doing something she loved. This is what the inside of the ghost ship looked like before the fire. It's an artist collective where people both lived and performed. Pictures online show a cluttered, aging structure. And then I guess the building wasn't very safe, they're finding now. Now Dolan is hoping to learn more about the circumstances surrounding her granddaughter's death. When the roof fell or something, maybe it knocked her unconscious. I, I, the thought of her suffering, mm -hmm. all I can think of is her mother out there. How I wish I could be with her. Mm -hmm. We spoke with Colleen Dolan, Chelsea's mother, who is now in California. She was too distraught to speak by phone, but posted this message. Chelsea Faith has always been an extraordinary person, full of exuberant joy. Her personality, intelligence, clothes, music, and kindness were legendary. Nothing Chelsea Faith did was ordinary. She was an adventurer. She was stellar in every way, and she will always be the star of our hearts. Now, just three weeks before the fire, city building inspectors had launched an investigation into illegal structures but couldn't get access inside the building. As we mentioned, the Oakland Police Department has now opened that criminal investigation. In the studio tonight, Marissa Perlman, News 4 at 6.